Hi, Gemini. Some sage to clear negative energies. Three chimes to bring in positive energy. This is a general reading for the sign of Gemini. If you have Gemini anywhere in your birth chart, this is your reading. It is a general reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. You know what is for you and what is not for you. It is a general reading, thank you Spirit, messages for the sign of Gemini. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for Gemini. Gemini, a little bit about the layout of this reading. Um, in this first row, we are looking at your professional life, your public life, your career life, um, work, um, the energies that are surrounding you there. When we're looking at the second row, we are looking at your private life, your personal life, your home life, um, family, close friends, um, love interest, love, home, family, sometimes pets will show up in this second row. And the final row, we look at final thoughts, final messages, final takeaway from this reading. What is it that Spirit would like you to know or to be aware of? Thank you, Spirit. Messages for the sign of Gemini. Thank you. Three more cards for the sign of Gemini. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for Gemini. What would you like Gemini to know or to be aware of for this reading? Oh, in the Wheel of Fortune. Let's get these just lined up and situated here for you. Gemini, the basis, the foundation of your reading this week is the Six of Pentacles. A little bit about the Six of Pentacles. That merchant there is also the hermit, the teacher in disguise. There is a lesson of fairness to be learned from equal give and take, and that is driven by the Page of Swords. Taking a lesson from something from the past in order to create wealth in the present. And let's see how that plays into the rest of your reading this week, Gemini. We start off with the moon card. And again, something hidden revealed. Learning something from something hidden. Fresh starts, new beginnings. The King of Pentacles, the richest card, the wealthiest card in the tarot, and the Knight of Swords. Taking action before everything is seen or everything is revealed. Taking action without having all of the facts without having clarity. Something hidden, something needs to be revealed. Someone new needs to come in in order to achieve financial success. It is important, Gemini, that we ask for help when it is needed. There is something that you need help with. There is something that you need more clarity of. 
when approaching a new task or starting a new project. And you have a very positive attitude about starting this. And it's your positive attitude that is going to make finding the help or finding the clarity easier. This prosperity that you are looking for or this prosperity that you're wanting to create is you're on fire about it. You're very passionate about it. And your fire, your passion is drawing others into you that you need to help generate this wealth. Um, those around you are those that are coming in for you or that you are drawing in do not know what it is that they need to do or how it is that they can help you you will need to let them know what it is that you need or how it is that they can help you. Yes, your positive energy is drawing in the people that you need to help create wealth, help create financial abundance. But you need to be clear. Now that they're coming in, you need to be clear on what it is that you would like, what it is that you expect, how it is that they can help you. Very positive cards here, Gemini. You're on fire. Deep thought, contemplation, taking a rest, taking a break. And I love that we have the Nine of Pentacles and the Empress card back to back here. Um, the Nine of Pentacles is like the getting ready to manifest, getting ready to create. And the Empress is bringing into creation. New beginnings, happy starts, happily ever after. You've been thinking or contemplating or considering how to introduce a new person into your home, a new person to your family, a new person into your life. And Gemini, I do know that introducing new people into our family or our home lives can be very nerve wracking. Maybe try introducing them a little at a time like maybe a quick get together or a quick brunch or a quick stop by the house. Um, just something really quick to, to help them get familiar with the environment um, and the people, places and things in that environment. maybe only have 
two to four family members or two to four people, f friends, at the first few initial gatherings. So maybe have three or four gatherings where different people are introduced in a quiet, relatively short visit time in order to help this person accumulate, sorry for my mispronunciation there, Gemini, and also to help your environment and other family members get accustomed to having this new person in your life. Final thoughts, final messages. Finding the zone, finding our comfort zone, finding what it is that drives our creation, drives our creativity. The Three of Pentacles. Public speaking, public wipes, public gatherings. I believe this may be to introducing new members. The feeling stuck, feeling stagnant. And I love that that feeling stuck, feeling stagnant is driven by or followed by the wheel of fortune for you here, Gemini. I think that inside you may be feeling like things are spinning out of control. And one of the best things that we can do when we feel that things are spinning out of our control or that we don't have control over a situation is to step back and to practice journaling. Journaling can also be used as a form of mindful meditation. And it can also help us find the zone. And it can also, journaling really does help us work out the kinks in our thought process and help us find the clarity that we need to uh, become unstuck to see different options and that is the message that i have for the sign of gemini thank you gemini you have a blessed week